this is about how you use assessment and feedback to foster and encourage learning. This is assessment for learning as well as assessment of learning. Assessment, assess progress and make judgments about your students' learning. How do you do that? How do you know that that is fair? Um, assessment can be formative or summative. It can be formal or informal. And feedback can be face-to-face, -face, um, written on annotated scripts, or it could be electronic means, podcasts, uh, audio feedback, social media. It's not restrictive, but it's whatever you use and see is appropriate. Assessment is not just a measure, but it should also include some development. So there should be learn some learning in that process. And certainly in the feedback that you give, feed forward is really important to be articulated. Um, how does your feedback improve learning and development of learner in the development of learner autonomy in the future? How can those students use that for future assignments in your on your module or in other modules? And this requires an understanding of where the learners what the learners will be doing in the future, but what they've also learnt in the past. So where does your assessment fit in with their learning? And these are some of the key areas um, to include in this reflection. Core knowledge, the use and the value of appropriate learning technologies, for instance Turnitin and audio feedback, and the implications for quality assurance and quality enhancement for academic and professional practice, particularly with a focus on teaching. So how do you ensure that this is a valid assessment for the learning that the students have undertaken, but also how does this develop them in their academic and their professional practice. Um, and this will be different for different um, disciplines and different levels. Again, professional values, respect for individual learners and diverse learning communities. Um, how are you ensuring that your assessment is fair and that your your feedback is understood by learners. How do you ensure that you are not um, biasing a certain group of learners? Uh, promotion of participation in higher education and equal opportunity for learners. So think about the challenges that a deaf student may be encountering in a written exam where their reading age when they join university is something like that of a 10 year old um, and for a written exam you would need to, to ensure that you'd had the exam checked by the disabled student support staff to ensure that it was accessible for those students. That's just one example, there are many others. So here are some resources that will support you when thinking about assess and give feedback to learners. Um, there is a huge resource on assessment and feedback from the Higher Education Academy and then um, another series, um, Enhancing Learning Through Formative Assessment, and that's available from the Learning Centre. And then we've got some SHU, Sheffield Hallam University, specific guidance on how to write assessment criteria and feedback.